Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Frank Bassa of Granada Gold. How are you today? I'm very well, Tracy. Thanks for uh, taking the time to talk to me. We're getting a lot of phone calls right now. I guess the Europeans and the Swiss are all looking at gold right now, Frank. Can you tell me why everybody that calls me all like Granada Gold? Well, we had a very good turn when we first started this project, and we went from basically a halted stock, and 18 months later, we're 121 million market cap, and it came a combination of drilling, good drill results, and of course, a lot of marketing. And at that time, everybody wanted to hear a good gold story. And so we're hoping to redo that story uh, in this cycle. Okay, so let me understand that. So you were upwards of 120 million market cap, and of course today you're just under 10 million. Is that correct? Yes, yeah. So for those of you that appreciate how depressed the, uh, the gold small cap market is, you would argue that you are one of the most competitive, undervalued gold stocks in the market presently. Is that correct? I think we're fairly undervalued to the point I think we're significantly undervalued. Um, you know, we, we believe that there's a gold cycle beginning. And, you know, we had two false starts. You'll notice if you look at our charts, we did take the stock to 40 cents and then we took it to 22 cents this year. And uh, I think we, we prematurely started the process. But I think now, you know, starting the new year, we started a very a nice drill program. We've got some very good high grade results over very long widths. And I think we'll give the, a very good story to the market with our property, which is on a Cadillac trend. Okay. All right. So for those of you out there, they're going, okay, we've made our money in uh, the cannabis markets. We're looking to get in in this gold uptick cycle. Okay. Even the Elliott's wave, I think they're all forecasting a gold bull market here in this upcoming year. Can you give us a, a quick overview about who Granada Gold is, please? See, the Granada Gold people, uh, we're a group of people that actually came from industry. We're actually from the operational exploration. Uh, uh, a group uh, we've uh, been what I'll call fairly well seasoned and uh, we've worked all over the world and we took on projects and as this project and we try to look for quality that other people have missed and uh, this is a very nice property it was a former producer he used to operate at eight to ten grams a ton the mill burnt and then went through a lot of colorful hands we acquired it and we're the first ones to develop a, a meaningful resource on the property and now we're taking it to the next level whereby the intent is to increase the resource at a higher grade and actually go in production. And of course, I, I deal with some pretty uh, uptight analysts out there in the market. And, and one in particular is very picky and completely independent. And he loves Granada Gold. And I think it has to do with your, your high-grade gold is, uh, drill results. Is that correct? Hey, your high-grade, can you explain that a little bit more for some of the investor intel audience that may not be familiar or understand what this means? Uh, the deposit could be developed two ways. Yeah, originally, we developed this thing as a near-surface, low-grade open pit. But the reality, what we did was we bunched together 9 to 22 grand, uh, veins trending east-west. And when we bunched them over uh, about a 400 meter thickness, uh, we developed a resource about 1 gram, 1.2 grams. But then we can selectively mine that, which has been mined in the past from the open pit. And basically, you can get grades from the open pit at 3 to 5.5 grams. So we're looking to do and develop the pit. Uh, uh, we have the option of doing it at 1.2 grams or at 4.5 grams, which we did a PFS on. And we're still within uh, 6, 50, 800, uh, all in cash costs, and that's as a shipper. So the potential is to develop it as a high-grade shipping deposit, which we uh, have permits for, and the intent is to expand on that. And then from there, go underground. We feel we might have 1.2 to maybe 2 million ounces inferred at 8 to 10 grams a ton. And of course, it's my understanding that one of your most significant advantages, of course, in addition to your bulk tonnage, your high-grade gold, is that you have a great location for actually getting it to the mill. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, see, uh, what we did was when we acquired this property, we're looking for access to mills. Uh, you know, you look at mills now, if you want to build a mill in Quebec, you're talking two, three years for permitting, you're talking $300 million to build a mill. There's actually between eight to 10 mills within 100 kilometers distance of our property. Three of them are actually shut down, and the other mills all are short on rock. So our intent was, you know, we did knock on the door to some majors. They've been on our property, some have spent nine months on our property, and they've confirmed the depositors there, the grades are there. 
So what we're going to do for them, we're going to increase the resource, increase the grade, and hopefully either they take us out or we end up changing uh, our approach. And that's where we call ourselves now Granada Gold Mines, which was the original name, and to go into production. And of course, for those of you out there that may not understand this, obviously what you do, and Frank, maybe you can explain this because you're a seasoned veteran, is the idea, of course, with the exploration is to find the gold, create as much of the architecture as possible, and then sell it to a major gold company producer. Is that correct? Yeah, that's the best model for us because uh, uh, the ideal structure for us is, to, like we said, we only explore 20% of the structure, and now we're going to increase that 20% exploration uh, target. And then, of course, we've already let people on the property. Three majors showed up with mills in the area. They're all short gold, and the intent is meet their requirements. Uh, we got the permits for them, which is a very complex thing now in Quebec. That took us over two years and six million studies. So we're fully permitted. Uh, so at any point that they wish to come and you know take over our asset, they can give us paper for paper, uh, but we like to be sold by the ounce, not by share price. We feel it's not unreasonable to ask 60 to $120 an ounce in the ground. Okay, so what should we as shareholders anticipate in this upcoming quarter, or do we need to wait and see, Frank? No, I think uh, we just finished another drill program. Uh, I think you'll probably be surprised at the drill results we'll be getting. Uh, so far, the results have been pretty good. We released some numbers. We're just checking on the core lengths uh, because of the nature of the drilling. Uh, we're actually using a similar pattern that Cisco used when they developed their 10 million ounce deposit. It's a kind of a high intensity, high frequency drilling. Uh, our other drill program, which is about 120,000 meters that we uh, took undertook on a property, was not designed that way. It was actually was designed to drill for structure, and uh, now we're actually what we call drilling for grade. Well, Frank, as always, it's a real pleasure. Thank you for joining us today. No, thank you very much, Tracy, and have a wonderful day. Thanks a lot.